Hi there, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, how you can install uh, WordPress on uh, your own uh, local server. So first of all, let's define WordPress, uh, what it is and why I'm talking about it. So WordPress is what we call a content management system. So it's a software in order to build a website easily. Why is it uh, so popular? So it's popular for many reasons. First of all, because that's the most uh, used content management system in the world. And um, the second thing is that this is what we call a free software. So free software means that you are free uh, to uh, edit it, you are free to redistribute it, uh, you are free to look at what is within the source code. And uh, the most important thing is that you own it, okay? It belongs to you. There's a bit of confusion with WordPress because WordPress is a technology which is developed by community. And in addition to that, you have a company behind which is selling services based on WordPress. And the confusion is that WordPress.org is the website of the community software and WordPress.com is in fact the business model of the main maintainer of the WordPress uh, technology. So if you go on WordPress.com, you will be able to set up a website in no time, but you will have to pay extras for any additional development that you like to make or um, using templates or making any, uh, using any feature and that kind of thing. So that's not the business model that we have an interest in. Um, the technology that we have an interest in is the one that you can find off WordPress.org. Okay. But basically the uh, technology you will get with the hosting of wordpress.com is the same as the one with wordpress.org it's just that on wordpress.com you will probably get additional plugins themes and that kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, for fees of course um so uh, here's what uh, what wordpress is in fact it's a file that uh, you are downloading which on which uh, there is the full technology and in fact this technology you need to deploy it on a server mm -hmm. and this server is in fact um, the one that you get when you go to web hosting companies such as this one or any others that uh, WordPress is uh, is recommending or any other that you can find. You can even host it on your own computer at home and have it linked to the internet. Um, so um, let's, uh, let's start. So uh, first step is actually to download uh, WordPress. So this is, uh, this is what I just did here. I'm just going to do it in a different way. So I'm just going to copy the link location and I'm going to um, set this WordPress on my uh, server. So in order to do so, I'm just going to access uh, to, my, uh, to my local server. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to uh, go for my... Uh, for my uh, server. So this is my server. I'm going to create um, a folder just for this. So through the MKD and I'm going to call it uh, WordPress. I'm going to put it like the date of, I mean, the hour of today. So, okay, that's, okay. And that's it. So now I have my folder, which is this one. And within this folder, I'm going to set the file that I just uh, showed you before. So I need to get the agreement and now I'm downloading WordPress. Congratulations, I now have WordPress which is on my server. So um, as you can see, it's a zip file, so I need to unzip it. So let's go for sudo unzip and unzip it. Okay, so now what do I get? I get folder which is named WordPress. So I get within my WordPress and within my WordPress, I get many different files. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to access to uh, my uh, WordPress uh, folder and I will start the installation because it's, WordPress is not something which works like this straight away. You need to install what we call a database, which will host everything which deal with uh, your credential, your users, your content, um, everything like this. So uh, let's access it. So it's localhost W16. So localhost W16. Let's um, let's go for it. Uh, so oops. So it's localhost W16 and WordPress. WordPress like this. Okay. So I just copy that and I just. I just put it here. 
Um, so here it's telling me, okay, welcome to WordPress and blah, blah, blah. What we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna start uh, to create the database. So I click here on let's go. Here it's asking me, okay, what is the name that you would like to give to your um, WordPress database? What will be the username, the password, the database host, and so on and so forth. So of course, in order to set all of this, what you need to have is uh, that you need to have um, a database server with this set. In my case, I'm kind of lucky because I have one already that I install in local, which is uh, the following one. So um, I'm gonna call it a database name. I'm gonna call it like WP16 uh, username. That's the one. That's that's the one that I have about my database and my password. As you can see, is so secure. It's root root, and this is my username database host if it's local host so I can submit it okay I can't select a database blah 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 uh, are you sure that it exists so it's telling me okay we are not able to create you um, to connect you to the database because you don't have one and it's true that I don't have any um, any database yet so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a database so the sudo mysql so here i need to access to my server for um my server so i'm gonna create my database so create database so this is uh sql uh, create database wp16 so now it's uh, created and i guess that if i go back over here i can i still cannot oh now I still cannot set because I need to give uh, privileges to my user. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to give privileges to myself. And it's the database which is named w 16 Okay. So now if I refresh my page, I can see W16. So I should be happy. Okay. Uh, run on password. So it's asking me back my password root root submit okay sorry but i cannot write to the wp config php file and blah, blah. you can create the wp config file by copying and pasting everything that you have here down below so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy and paste everything which is uh, up here so i'm gonna go back on gonna go back on my, at my place over here and as you can see I do I have a file which is named WP config almost it's WP config sample so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna create one WP config PHP okay great that's my file I just save it and now if I go back over here I run the installation blah blah it's gonna work great um, so uh, welcome to the most beautiful sites ever okay username gonna be running and password i don't mind let me use my favorite password that you should never use unless you're in local confirm the weak password and i can install wordpress okay yes i confirm the password double check um so very weak uh, okay so i guess I will have to use something else like uh, I don't know root root and 75 75 okay now it's just weak and I confirm the weak password okay you must provide an email address okay so let's go for root root.com I guess that this one means that the password okay I confirm the weak password install WordPress uh, don't say this already installed and now you can log in so my case was run on uh, remember me and log in and congratulations you have now your first wordpress website which is installed look at this how beautiful it is and of course uh, you can use any feature that you want it's a real uh, wordpress so you can go uh, for the different themes and uh, show something which is more sexy or you can even add any plugins and anything like this and you can already start to play with uh, with your website it's yours 100% yours you can even uh, resell it after without any 
condition of use which are tied to you i mean it's it's a free software so that's um that's the whole point of having it and you can in fact double check the conditions of uh, the license all you need is just to go over here and you should have uh, yeah you have here you see the file which is called license.txt so you can just go for cat license.txt and it will tell you that you own the software okay it's yours wordpress copyright blah 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 by the manufacturer and it's going to tell you wordpress is released under the gpl v2 license if i remember well yes the new general public license which is telling you that um, that's the technology is yours. Hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Hope it um, will offer you a lot of things about uh, web mastering skills and so on and so forth. Feel free to to break your website, to hack it as much as you want. That's the that's the whole point about um, education. Thanks for watching.